Perplexity launched a new AI-powered web browser called Perplexity Comet and it is what they call the future of web browsers. Basically, it's a fully packed Chromium-based web browser with added AI capabilities so that the web browser itself can do a lot of stuff for you. And currently, Perplexity Comet is invite only, but I was fortunate enough to get an invite to the browser and I already have it installed on my computer right now. And today in this video, I'll take a quick tour, show you what interesting features do we have in this browser and also how to use the same. And again, it is actually kind of interesting is what I would say. You can now tell the browser to do something and the AI within the browser will navigate around the web, do things for you. And it's actually a really great experience to be honest. And without wasting any more time, let me really jump onto my computer screen and show you Perplexity Comet in action. All right. So this right here is Perplexity Comet. And as you can see, I have already downloaded and installed the same on my computer. And here we have it live. And when you download and install Comet for the first time, if you already have Chrome installed on your computer or just about any Chromium based web browser, Comet will ask you if you want to import all the settings, profiles, extensions and all that. And if you choose to do so, after configuring everything, when you open Comet for the first time, this is how it will look like. For example, you will have all your bookmarks towards the top. You will have all these extensions already installed and you will also have all these profiles as well. And now again, one more interesting thing I like a lot about Comet is that during the installation, when you open the installer on your computer, it shows some interesting animation, sound effects and the overall setup process is actually really great. And I, I believe I took a screen recording of the same and if it's there, I'll make sure to play it on the screen right now. Anyways, after you install Perplexity Comet, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And the one thing to keep in mind is that Perplexity Comet is currently invite only. It means that you only have two options to get access to it. The first option is that you have to be in their waitlist and the perplexity team has to manually send you an invite. And the second option is that someone who already have perplexity comet access should send you an invite. For example, right now I have comet and if I click on this invites option right here, as you can see, I have three more invites available. So I actually sent a couple invites out. But if a friend of yours already have access to comet, you can ask them to send let's say an invite so you can generate an invitation and share that link to that particular person so the other person can click on this generate invitation option right here copy the link and send it over to you and you can claim the invitation by visiting that particular link so that is basically how it is so currently these are the only two options that you have and in the coming weeks i believe perplexity comet will be generally made available to everyone and now when you open perplexity comet this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see and now their home page is designed to have an input box like the normal uh, message input box that you will find in the perplexity website and you also have a couple of cards in here and now towards the top right you'll find an option called as assistant and if you click on the same it opens up this assistance interface where you can talk to the ai agent and ask it to do anything okay so you can either send your message here or here as well either ways both will work and now we also have a voice mode option in perplexity comet which means that if you click on this icon right here it will open up the voice mode where you can have a live conversation with the AI agent. Let me show you it real quick so I can click on the same. Hi there, what can you do? Hello, I can help you find information, answer questions, manage your browser tabs and perform various online tasks. Feel free to ask anything you need. What is the trading price of Apple stock? Hello, the current trading price of Apple stock is $181.77. So as you saw, you can just invoke the voice mode and then have a conversation with the browser and you can talk to it and it will talk back to you. So it will do the research for you and then find the results and talk back to you. So that is one interesting feature that is available within Comet. And next up, if you want to, let's say, use it like a normal one, for example, let's say you want to visit a website or something, you can input the URL in here. Or if you want to, let's say, search for something, for example, let's say, what is the ticker of apple and i can hit enter so as you can see it has opened up this results page and you can get access to the answer just like normally how you would use perplexity nothing fancy in there and now yet another cool thing is that perplexity comet can do a lot of stuff on behalf of you so you can just tell what you want the ai to do and the ai agent itself will do it for example i'll open the assistant option right here and let me ask the ai to find a email from my inbox related to something specific so i can simply go ahead and say from my email inbox, can you please find the last credit card payment reminder or something similar? And I can hit enter and let's see what happens. 
So it says locating recent email reminders related to credit card payments in your inbox. And if this is your first time, it will ask us to connect your Gmail and Google Calendar. So I can click on this connect button. All right. So I have already connected the same and maybe I can copy this message again like this and maybe open a new chat and paste the same and hit send and let's see what happens. All right. So it is now searching my Gmail inbox and as you can see, it has pulled all these credit card bill details and it says the last credit card payment reminder in your inbox is from Amazon Pay India received today. It states your Amazon Pay ICICI bank credit card bill payment is due on 30 August 2025. And if you want to, you can click on the same and open it up. And in a similar fashion, you can search your inbox for any particular email. Next up, let's just say, can you please find the last email from HDFC bank? And I can hit enter. And now it will search for the keyword HDFC bank or something within my inbox and find all the emails. And there you go. Here we have all this information like the dividend. Okay. Intimation of payment for final dividend of the year ended 31st March. In a similar fashion, you can ask pretty much anything concerning around your inbox, like asking it to find the right email and all that. The AI itself will go ahead and search through your inbox and find the one and show us the result in here. So that is one cool thing. Next up, let's just say you are about to purchase something. So here I have opened up the assistant interface. And as you can see here, we have an option to enter a coupon code. And right now I'm trying to buy a plan for NordVPN. And now I can simply go ahead and ask perplexity comet to find and apply best coupons. Here I'm now trying to check out at NordVPN website. I'm trying to purchase the two year plan. So could you please find any working coupon code to further reduce the final price and apply the same. Okay, so here I have entered all these details and now I'll click on the send button and let's see what happens. Okay. So it is now searching the web and now the thing is that it will now find the coupon and then apply the same for you. As you can see, Comet itself has filled in that coupon code in the box right there and pressed on the apply button. And as you can see, the coupon code is now applied and it says 2Y coupon. Okay. So it has actually entered the coupon code and has actually submitted the same as well. And now it is trying to, let's say, apply some other coupon code. So it has cleared the previous one. And now let's see. Okay, it has typed the coupon code that is PewDiePie. And now, okay, it hit apply. And again, the coupon code is applied. And there you go, that is how it is. So as you can see, it has now applied the coupon code CyberSec and we got around like three or four dollars off. So this is one more use case of using Perplexity Comet. So if you are on a website trying to purchase something, you can simply invoke Perplexity Comet Assistant and you can ask it to find the best coupon code and then apply the same. And you know, you can just ask it and it will do all the heavy lifting for you. It will research and find all the coupon code and then add the same and try it out. And if it doesn't work, it will then search for a different one and add the same and get going from there. And it works surprisingly well for many you know providers out there. So you can try it out. So that is one more different use case of using Perplexity Comet. And now before we continue further, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Skillshare. As a creator, I'm always looking for ways to work smarter and keep my workflow running smoothly. Recently, I've been particularly interested to learn how AI or in particular ChatGPT can help me with my content creation and marketing needs. And that's when I stumbled on this Skillshare class called ChatGPT for Creatives, AI-powered SEO marketing and productivity course by Peggy Dean. And honestly, it's been such an eye-opener. What I really appreciated was how she broke things down, like how to ask ChatGPT the right questions, how to guide it when it's not quite on the track, and also how you can get ChatGPT to sound like you. It's not just theory either. I've been applying her tips directly to my work and it's already making my process faster and more creative. What I love about Skillshare is that all their classes are taught by incredible world-class creatives, professional illustrators, top designers and successful entrepreneurs. Basically, you are learning directly from people you admire and they have got like thousands of classes across categories like art, design, AI, technology and whatnot. Plus, you can learn anytime at your own pace and connect with other creatives who share your interest. So if you're someone who is looking forward to pick up a new skill, build a new creative habit or level up your career, I highly recommend you check out Skillshare. The first 500 people to click the link in the description below or scan this QR code will get 30 days free trial. So don't miss out on this one and start learning today. And now back to the video. Next up, let's just ask Perplexity Comet to schedule a meeting with a particular email for a particular time. 
so i can simply go ahead and say can you please schedule a meeting with astro and his email is astro joseph 1000 at the rate gmail.com at 7 pm today let's see what happens i'll click on send okay so it says scheduling a meeting with astro for today at 7 pm and here we have the same so here we have the email the details and everything else and if i click on the schedule button okay it should be done and if i visit my google calendar i should be able to find the same so let me open it up real quick so i asked comet to schedule a interview at 7 pm and there you go here we have the meeting ready okay so we asked the ai to schedule a meeting and it has done the same so right now i have opened up the irs website of the us government and often times when i work with various brands based in the us they ask me to submit the w8 ben form right and now next up i'm going to open comet assistant and i'll go ahead and ask it to find the w8 ben form pdf file and show the same so basically i want the ai to find and give me that form so i can't really find you know search for it and do all that kind of stuff let's ask the ai to do it could you please find the w8 ben form pdf from the irs website and give the same to me i need it to send to someone and now i'll hit enter and let's see what happens okay so it is now doing something and when the ai within comet is doing something on the web page you can find that accent color like blue accent color in here right so it means that the ai is actually doing something or let's say performing something on the website in which ways we will wait till it is done and let's see if it is able to figure out and find the w8 ben form pdf file that we are looking for so let's see okay so it says perfect i found the w8 ben form pdf all right okay there you go here we have it so i just asked the ai that i want to find this particular uh, pdf file and it has actually opened it up already so that's actually cool it has found the pdf and i can click on this button right here to download the same and get going so that part is also working and next up let's just go ahead and ask the ai to add a particular product to my amazon cart so i can simply go ahead and say can you please add iphone 16 pro 512 gb variant to my cart on amazon the color doesn't matter all right so let's see it says preparing to add specified iphone model to your amazon shopping cart all right so let's see uh i believe it has started working on the same so it is identifying the specific model okay reviewing sources all right so there you go it has opened up the official website of amazon and now it is searching for the iphone variant that we asked for and okay we asked for the 512 gb variant and the color doesn't matter so it has selected the tit black titanium variant okay cool so hopefully it will now add the same to the cart and as you can see we have zero items in the cart now and let's see if the ai is able to add the same to the cart okay so it opened up a product page and it seems like it's currently unavailable so the ai will have to go back or switch the model okay now it found one and hopefully it will add the same to the cart now okay the ai is kind of struggling actually it got it right but it did not really add the same to the cart i'm not sure why uh okay let's see i don't know why but it keeps switching between the models so even though it got it correct like it actually selected the black titanium variant and even then it is not adding the same to the cart and i wonder why so it's okay all right so it seems like it's because the 512 gb variant is not available okay it makes sense i can maybe go ahead and say let's add all right so there you go it has added the same to the cart and now maybe i can let's say close this one and view the cart and let's see okay so it has actually added the 256 gb variant and that's because we don't really have the 512 gb variant available in here so as you can see the 512 gb variant is unavailable even though we asked to add the 512 gb variant perplexity comet added the 256 gb variant but that's okay that's because it wasn't really available so that part is also done and next up yet another cool thing that you can do with perplexity comet is that you can provide a link to a specific youtube video and you can ask any question about it or you can even ask perplexity comet to find a specific time within a video and it will do it as well for example if i open the assistant maybe i can open a new tab and let's say i want to find the moment where steve jobs unveiled the first iphone for the first time so i want to get access to that particular clip so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and say 
could you please find a video on youtube where steve jobs first announced the iphone okay let's see i'll just hit enter and let's see what the ai does okay it will automatically find the right video and show the same okay there you go and if i click on that okay there you go this is a day so this is the event in 2007 where Steve Jobs was announcing the first iPhone and here we already have it. And not just that, you can copy a link to a specific video and ask questions about it as well. For example, I'll visit my channel right here and open a video. For example, let's say this one right here. Okay. And now I can open a new chat and paste that particular video link in here and what provider does Astro use to host his website? A simple one. So in this case, I'm actually using Vercel. And let's see if it is able to figure it out. So there you go. It says Astro K. Joseph hosts his website using Vercel and connects his custom domain via its dashboard as shown in the detailed deployment walkthrough on his own video. So basically, I just provided a YouTube video link and asked a question. And now the AI itself actually went through the entire transcript of that particular YouTube video and found the answer and displayed the same in here. Okay, so that is how simple it is. And now if you have, let's say, one hour long video or two hour long video, and if you want some answers from certain parts of the video, but you don't have time to watch the entire two hours long video, well, you can simply copy the link and put that up in uh, perplexity and ask it and it will find all the necessary details. So as you saw, these are some of the many things that Perplexity Comet can do or let's say automate for you. Whether you want to add a product to your cart or whether you want the AI to do something, find forms, summarize content on YouTube or find promo codes and apply them for you and find the best one. I mean, there's a lot this Perplexity Comet web browser can do. And the thing is currently Perplexity Comet is invite only. That means you can't just straight away go ahead and download the same and start using it. Of course, I guess there are the DMG or let's say the installer of Comet currently available which you can download and use but the thing is that perplexity assistant or this comet specific AI features won't be made available so even if you have a perplexity account even if you log into the same if you don't already have an invite you won't be able to access any of these AI features within the web browser so that is one more thing to keep in mind so I've been trying to use perplexity comet for the last few days and to be honest what this web browser can do is actually very surprising to me because if you're about to let's say use a web browser like let's say Google Chrome, you will have to do everything all by yourself. You can't really automate anything or even there isn't any, you know, this kind of level AI features baked into Google Chrome. But when you are about to use, let's say, Perplexity Comet, you could just tell the AI agent what you want to do and hit enter and it will actually do it for you and show us the result. For example, as uh, okay, for example, I wanted to find a particular tax form. So I just went ahead and told the AI I want this particular form and I just hit enter and the AI itself navigated around, find the PDF file and shown the same to me. In a similar fashion, you could ask pretty much anything and Perplexity Comet will browse the internet, find the data or PDF or whatever stuff that you asked and it will present the same to you. And not just that, it can pull relevant information from your email inbox or schedule meeting, check your calendar, and honestly, there's a lot this AI can do. And again, if you are into data analysis or let's say you opened up your YouTube studio dashboard and you want to interpret the data and find new insights from the data, well, Perplexity Comet can do it for you. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So I got the Perplexity Comet invite a couple weeks back. So I just wanted to take it for a test drive and create a video about it. And that is what you saw just now. And it is actually a promising web browser. So currently it is invite only or in the beta phase. And hopefully in the coming weeks, it will be made available to pretty much everyone. And yeah, it's actually really great. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.